Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are making beef goulash. If you've ever had this then you know just how good it is so follow along if you want to know how I make it. The first step is to start heating up your pan and you're going to brown your ground beef. I'm using one pound and I'm just breaking it up because I like it when the meat is well broken up and not in big clumps. My seasonings are black pepper, Lowry's, a table blend, crushed red pepper and garlic and herb seasoning and I did not pre-measure. I just kind of did a few dashes of each but use as much as you'd like. There's really no right or wrong. It's just whatever you prefer. the meat is browning I am going to start slicing my onion. I'm using half of an onion here. I'm going to dice it up and then I use three garlic cloves. I will mince those as well. see the meat has browned nicely so now I'm going to add my onion and I will also add the garlic. I'm going to mix that up well and then I will also put in the petite diced tomatoes. I like using the petite style because I want the tomatoes to be a smaller bite instead of larger chunks so I add the tomatoes, tomato sauce, and beef broth. going to add about a cup and a half of elbow macaroni. You could probably use a different style if you wanted to, but I've always used this, so I'm going to stick with that. Then I'm going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes or so, just enough to cook the pasta. is now ready and I'm going to add the cheese so I'm going to use about a cup and a half maybe a little bit less of sharp cheddar I like the sharp cheddar the best for this so I'm just going to use a measuring bowl measuring cup whatever you want to call it put in my cheese and then I add half at a time that way it doesn't clump up and it will melt evenly throughout the whole mixture and I did actually add a little bit of water too I wanted to mention that because the uh, pasta soaked up so much of the moisture I wanted to add just a little bit back.
is what it looks like when it is finished. It is so easy and this is definitely one of my favorite things I like to make if I'm in a pinch and I need something fast. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.